Hey Virgo, welcome to Shared Sentients. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate you. Uh, this is going to be your general weekly reading. Any information you all need, you can find it in the description box down below. I do have personals open right now for those of you who are interested. You could also check me out on Patreon where I post additional content for each sign. Now the personals are going to close out on the 21st, so um, I'm not sure when all of you are going to be seeing this, but um, you know, if it's before the 21st, then you will still be able to book a personal reading. Let's go ahead and get started here for you, Virgo. Let's see what we're getting. Let's start with your air energy. This is for Virgo. So we're looking at your thoughts, communication. Ooh. Could have a new love interest coming in, or there's a new way of going about a current connection. Like there are some new dynamics here to a relationship that you have. You could be leveling up with a person. But you're very happy. You know, you have a victory or some kind of success on the mind here. Some of you, this could just be a meeting of some sort. The Two of Cups showing up in your communication could be an interview. Could be like a face-to-face -face meeting with um, a client or something of that nature here for some. Somebody could have Venus in Cancer or Jupiter in Leo. But you've got the Six of Wands showing up for your thoughts. So I like that overall. It looks like you're happy. There's something that you're celebrating. There is a conversation happening with somebody special. Okay, or somebody who's going to play a really important role in this success that you have on your mind. What's going on in the earth energy? What's going on in the earth energy here? Okay, got two five showing up. So that looks a little rocky. I think that could be why you have success on your mind here, Virgo. We're going to be looking into those energies and see, seeing what we get. Okay, how about the water? What's going on in the water? How is Virgo feeling? Queen of Pentacles. And what's your intuition trying to tell you here? The Death card. All right. And how about your fire energy? What are you creating? What are you destroying here? Okay. Good. All right. So your overall energy is the full. This talks about uh, taking a risk. This talks about a clean slate, a new beginning, um, something new going on here for you guys. So let's go ahead and clarify that air energy and see what's happening with it. Okay. All right. We've got the six of swords. Okay. Yeah, definitely a new journey here. You've got so many cards, Virgo, that represent um, a new journey overall. There could actually be some kind of agreement on a move, like a lease or something of that nature, but you have two sixes right there, which is progression, forward movement. You've got the queen of cups right here. So it could be from this queen of cups. I feel like somebody's helping you out um, or you're helping someone else out here. There's some kind of compromise, all right, being made. Um, but they're wanting you to go after this new beginning. You do have the Five of Swords showing up for what you need to ground. Some of you, there's a prideful energy getting in the way here of something good, Virgo. All right. So um, I don't know what's going on with that. I mean, you do have the Two of Cups in your communication. So some of you, there's some kind of compromise that may take place here before you can have this new beginning. But um, with the Five of Swords showing up is what you need to ground. It's almost like there's something here that uh, you could be holding on to the way that you thought of things. Like... Um, you know, not really willing to uh, adapt to the changes that have been made to something here. Now, of course, that's not always ideal. Like, you don't want to always be in a situation where you're, like, lowering your standards or something of that nature. But it seems like it's something something reasonable here, all right? And then you have the Five of Cups showing up for your stability, so that's not good. We're going to see what's going on with that. That's Mars and Scorpio. What's happening with that energy, please? Got the uh, Emperor. The Emperor and the Lovers. Aries energy. We also have Gemini. We've got the Empress right here. Um, father, mother, counterpart connection here. So, so there could be something going on here, Virgo, with somebody that you work with, all right, or somebody that you've met through work, all right? Um, there is someone that you're building with, though, okay? So this Earth energy here, it's meant to talk about, like, work, money, things of that nature, and that could definitely be the case, you know, with the Five of Cups, Five of Swords. It's like there's obviously some kind of chaos or conflict with the Emperor, who could be a boss, um, somebody who plays a really important role here with the Lover's card showing up, of course. I do think that for some of you, you're being advised to end that because you have the, the Death card right here. So there's, like, a very petty, back-and-forth kind of energy, like tit for tat with that Five of Swords, really passive-aggressive here, Virgo. But for others of you, I do think that there's some kind of conflict within a counterpart connection, all right? 
some things going to have to be addressed or talked about here, all right? Some of you live at a distance from this person because you've got the Six of Swords. You've got the Lovers where there are distance between the two figures there in the card. It's not going to focus. Um, but the Six of Swords also talks about movement. The Fool talks about a journey. So, yeah, you're definitely going to have to make a big decision here, Virgo. Um, showing up for... How you're feeling you have the queen of pentacles you're ready for a rebirth for a fresh start to nurture something new um because that rabbit does represent a rebirth sitting at her foot there um but that's a really good queen you know very domestic as well so some of you could be building something out of the home here or you could be um renovating the home it's like you're very focused on your comfort is how that feels to me on security all right and for what your intuition is trying to tell you you have the death card scorpionic energy so they're wanting you to stop resisting a change again i just feel this energy of having to adapt to something needing to roll with the punches in a situation here virgo because it's like there's an energy coming through where there's a new way of doing things all right and while it might look scary at first, I feel like it's something that's really going to benefit you and benefit others around you. Okay, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like there's something here that you're going to have to leave behind in order to be in that Queen of Pentacles space because you have the Five right here. So you may have to walk away from a person here, possibly a Scorpio or a Capricorn. You got the Two of Swords, maybe somebody who has their Moon in Libra, Mercury in Taurus. But yeah, that's what I'm feeling here, Virgo. There's someone that you're going to have to walk away from or maybe a job you're having to leave behind here, okay? Uh, but for your peace, you know, there's something here that's really disturbing your peace and we can see that with the Five of Swords and with the uh, Five of Cups and you know you're almost in a space where it's like you're, you're very much over it but it's like there's something here where you're kind of numbing yourself to it instead of uh fixing the problem and getting out of the situation so they're wanting you to make plans to do that all right you got the king of swords is what you're creating so gathering facts gathering information some of you this could be like putting in resumes this could be uh having a conversation with somebody finding some kind of clarity uh in all of this and then you have the hangman right here for what you're destroying so that is a stuck energy it is an energy of self-sacrifice We've got Pisces and Aquarius energies down here in this bottom row. So what is going on with this for my brother people? The King of Swords and the Hangman. Some of you have been in a space too where you've been kind of waiting on the truth. And I think this negotiation could honestly be you just, you know, giving it to yourself here. Just accepting the fact that you don't have the full truth from an individual. And that could be something that's going to move you forward and move you on from this. Is that King of Swords, you're creating your own clarity here, Virgo. Justice. And the Nine of Wands, finding what's meant for you, powering through a situation here. Like I said, there's this energy of like needing to adapt to a new situation and like adjusting the way that you thought of things here, Virgo. Um, you could have some Libra in your chart, could have Moon and Sagittarius, but the Nine of Wands is a card of like wounded warrior energy. It's like powering through something. It's not giving up the fight. It's a card of persistence. So it's like you're going to keep going no matter what, all right? So some of you are definitely being presented with a test here when it comes to finding what's meant for you, um, having the truth. Some of you have been very relaxed rely on someone else for a truth and it has kept you stuck so you're just accepting what it is that you have and you're moving forward with that okay so um that's what i'm seeing here for you virgo i hope that this was helpful i do want to thank you all so much for watching and supporting me be sure to watch out for your other signs as well but if this is where we part thank you for watching me and you all enjoy your week bye